Hi, Jim Hoffman here. I wrote that book. The Boy in the Box was written over a period of several years. Um, and in chapter six, I talk about how the, uh, the fact that the evidence boxes were in my house at one point created hauntings for my family for many years after. Um, what I'm going to tell you was not in the book, uh, but it was it's related to this. And the book was published in 2018, and this happened about 2020. Um, my youngest daughter uh, had issues where a toddler ghost, quote unquote, would wake her up in the middle of the night and talk to her, scared the hell out of her. It happened several times. Well, the last time this happened, again, 2020, um, she, I was, it was a Sunday. I remember that. I was sitting on the couch. She came out of her room and started telling me it happened again, Dad. You know, I'm sick of it, blah, blah, blah. And while she was telling me this, I saw behind her what looked like a little, I mean, like a foot tall, almost, I'm going to, I'll show you a picture of it, SLS camera looking thing run across behind her from her room into my room. Again, it was about a foot tall. It freaked me out. I didn't dare say a word to her. I still haven't talked to her about it to this day. Um, I, so I said nothing. Um, later that day, my wife told me to get rid of the notebook that I had a notebook. I kept everything related to my investigation into the boy, boy in the box. It's real thick. She said, get rid of it. She said, it's haunted. So, so I did. And ever since I did, interestingly enough, we haven't had any issues that I, that I've been told about anyways. Um, my research has been on Buzzfeed. And I talked about the story um, uh, in what's called my uh, paranormal experience with Vic Cundiff, and that's here. Um, I hope that you don't have to deal with this stuff because it's, it's pretty scary. And if you get a chance, check out my book. It's on Amazon. Rate it. I'd appreciate it. I think you'll like it. Have a good day.